considering different chapters from class 12 syllabus along with the weightage of the chapter, important topics and frequently asked questions from the chapters and some key points and tricks to remember the important topics of that chapter. In this video, I am considering the first chapter from class 12 syllabus that is the solid state. And friends, please subscribe to my channel to get more videos related to chemistry and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification regarding new videos. Uh, friends, uh, let us consider the important uh, topics from the solid state. So friends, this chapter solid state carries 7 marks. 1 2 mark question and 1 5 mark question will be asked from this solid state. So friends, uh, before going to the uh, topic or uh, before uh, discussing the important topics from this chapter, let me clear one thing. Here, in these videos, I am considering the marks distribution list which is just for Karnataka PUC students. Except the marks list, uh, this uh, important uh, discussion of important topics or tricks to remember the different concepts are helpful for all the class 12 students from NCRT or uh, CBSE students or uh, any students from a other state also. But this marks distribution list is just for Karnataka PUC students. Be careful about that and all the other uh, topics are helpful for all the students. Here, one two mark question and one five mark question. Five mark question is generally divided as two plus three or sometimes it is four plus one. 27th question in the question paper is from solid state chapter and here in case of 5 mark question, one question is definitely from calculation of number of particle or packing efficiency or it may be a numerical from a numerical based upon the density calculation. So it is 5 plus 2, 7 marks will be from solid state chapter. Here the important topics are one most important topic is difference between amorphous and crystalline solid. It may be asked for uh, 2 mark or 3 mark. If it is asked for 2 mark, then you have to write minimum 4 difference. And if it is for 3 mark, then 6 points or 6 differences must be there in the answer. Then calculation of number of particles in primitive or simple cube, BCC and FCC. Here... For calculation of number of particles in a unit cell, this table is very helpful for you. Let me explain this uh, table afterwards. Then after the calculation of number of particles, one more very very important topic is calculation of packing efficiency. Packing efficiency in case of simple cube, BCC and FCC or HCP. The packing efficiency is very very important. You have to know the calculation of number of particles and packing efficiency from the solid state. And these two tables are very very helpful for you. Then defects. Actually in case of defects, all type of defects are important. But you have to know about Frankel and Scott key defect. The question may be asked for one mark like uh, what is Frankel defect or define Scott key effect like that or Difference between Frankel and Scott key defect may be asked for two, uh, two mark question. Um, difference between Frankel and Scott key defect. Then about electrical and magnetic properties. Uh, generally one or two mark question may be asked from electrical and magnetic properties. And uh, the tables here. This table is for calculation of packing efficiency. Here. It is type of the unit cell or a type of the cube. It is atoms per unit cell or number of particles per unit cell or uh, it is Z value of Z then radius R. It is value of packing efficiency. So for simple cube atoms or number of particles per unit cell is 1 radius R small r is equal to A by 2 and packing efficiency it is 52.4. Then BCC, number of particles 2, number of particles per unit cell, it is 2. Then radius R, root 3 into A by 4, packing efficiency 68%. FCC, it is 4, R is equal to root 2 into A divided
divide by 4 or a by 2 root 2 then packing efficiency it is 74 percent friends here uh, I think this table is very helpful for you because uh, sometimes you know the calculation but uh, uh, you are uh, confused about the uh, formula for radius or value of z etc. So just memorize this uh, table, just uh, uh, write it and uh, practice this table. It will be very helpful for you in the calculation of packing efficiency of the different uh, cubes. Then this chart, uh, this table. Here, this table is for calculation of number of particles. Contribution of the particles present at the different location. It is location and contribution. If a particle is present at the corner of the unit cell, if a pa particle is present at the corner of the unit cell, then this particle is shared by 8 different unit cells. So, contribution of this particle per unit cell will be 1 by 8. It is shared by 8 unit cells, so contribution 1 by 8. Or 1 unit cell has 1 by 8th of the one uh, the particle at the corner. Then body center. If a particle present at the center of the body of unit cell, that means inside this uh, uh, unit cell, then the contribution will be 1. That means the particle present in the only one unit cell, so it will not shared by uh, any other unit cells. So the contribution of the particle present at the center of the body will be 1. Then face center. If a particle present at the center of the face, then it is shared by two unit cells. There will be another unit cell at this position. So, the particle at the face and uh, center of the face will be shared by two unit cells. So, one unit cell get the half of the particle. So, particle at the uh, center of the face contributes half of the particle. So, it is 1 by 2. Location and contribution. Corner, particle at the corner, 1 by 8. Particle at the center of the body, it is 1. And so if the particle present at the center of the face, it is 1 by 2. These two tables are helpful for calculation of number of particles and packing efficiency. Then the numerical problem. Numerical problem based upon this formula will definitely ask the formula for density of the unit cell. D is equal to Z into M by A cube into N A. Here D, density of the unit cell. Z, number of particles. If you remember this table, then Z value is easier for you. Here Z for simple cube 1, BCC 2 and FCC it is 4. Then M, it is uh, molar mass. A, edge length and Na, it is Avogadro's number. 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23. D is equal to Z into M divided by A cube into Na. So, this formula is very very important. Then about number of voids. If uh, N is the number of closed pack spheres, then octahedral, number of octahedral voids formed is equal to N uh, tetrahedral voids formed will be to n. If n is the number of close packed spheres, octahedral voids n, tetrahedral voids it is 2n. So friends from this chapter uh, a numer uh, one numerical or calculation of packing efficiency for 3 marks and calculation of number of particles for 2 marks is a uh, definite question but you have to concentrate all these topics. Uh, hope uh, this video is helpful for you. Uh, I have already uploaded some videos about these uh, topics. Please watch those videos and if you have any doubts, please uh, uh, write to your doubts in the comment section. I will try to solve your doubts and please uh, write your opinion about this video in the comment section. Please like this video and share this video with your friends and please subscribe to my channel to get more videos related to chemistry. Thank you.